G'day guys, Shackers Clackers here today, uh, back with another video. This time it is on the new CO2 pistols. Uh, the long awaited pistol that everyone's been waiting for. Pure CO2, uh, polymer injected lower, metal internals, metal slide. As you can see here, I've gone ahead. This one's in the process of being polished and cut and everything else. It's normally a black slide, um, but I've altered this out. This is the shark in the tan which is available uh, early August, so they're not quite available yet, um, but it is the, almost exactly the same model as a normal shark, it's just a little bit tarted up. Um, normally it comes with a gold outer barrel housing, uh, barrel housing, and a black slide um, stippled grip, and tan lower. So as you can see here, I've got the Asriel Muzzle Tech Hop Up on the front. Uh, we have been Testing these things pretty good. Um, about 14, 15 meters in the shop, and these things have a group of about eight inches. So they are an absolute game changer for pistols. These things here are hitting between 280 to 300, depending um, out the box. So very, very good quality, hard hitting pistols. They have a nice, nice weight to them. Um, very solid, very weighty feeling pistol um, so without further ado guys I'm going to show you guys how to break down the pistol pull apart pull it all apart how to maintain how to service how to lube up your co2 keep your o-rings lubed up changing bulbs changing out of barrel everything else um, so let's get stuck into it guys so firstly what we want to do is if you have a muzzle tech hop up on remove the hop up Take out your magazine and we are going to punch this pin out here, just push it through, crack it back, slide it forward and off she comes. So as you can see here, this is the inner here, the lower, nice and lubed up and greased up and ready to go. Won't go into that into this video, but what I am going to show you guys how to do is get into your upper here. So basically you want to move your recoil spring, pull out the outer barrel and inner barrel. So I'll show you guys how to change that in a minute. Um, and normally I run a dot sight here, which I'll be attaching back again. And what we what we want to do is you'll see a screw here, remove that. So if you're changing sights, that's exactly what you're gonna do, remove the screw. Remove that, this little piece comes out. I'm going to set that just there. Um, be careful, there is a little spring down in here. Um, might be a bit hard to see it, but it is right there. So if you push that out, you don't want to bend this on the way out, guys, so just make sure you get it to sort of pop out. So you can see it just in there. We're going to take that out, we'll pop out the border, there we have it, it's a little piece, be careful of that little, be careful of this little spring here guys, don't lose that, it'll be very hard to replace if you do, fire select will just pop straight off, and this outer barrel, come out like so, uh, blowback housing and nozzle will come out like so. So there's your nozzle guys, um, your blowback assembly, all in one. Got this little piece here too guys, don't lose that. So if you want to take your fibre optic off, this little screw at the front there, just undo that little screw, like so. Pull your little fibre optic off, and that is your slide fully disassembled. So, also to note too, guys, in case you haven't seen um, Martin Freeman's video, uh, these things here basically have a trigger adjustment. So it's a bit hard to see, but you need to pull back the trigger. Down in there, there's a little mini grub screw. You want to turn it counterclockwise to get more trigger sensitivity. 
Uh, my one's been adjusted so much that there is no wall on it. It's just ready to fire. Some people like it, some people don't. Personally, I like my triggers very, very sensitive. I always like to be ready to shoot. So oiling up, basically all your points of contact. So you want to lube it up. I'm using some pure silicone oil. Um, anything that's pure silicon oil will work. Um, you can get this from your local RC hobby shop. Uh, they stock plenty of it. So you want to lube up like all your tracks. Keep all this lubed at all times. And you just want to do a general maintenance, guys. Like after you've sort of had a thrash on these pistols, just make sure you go through and do a general lube up. Um, it's very, very good for the pistol. Keep everything running super slick and whatnot. Um, your outer barrel. So here is your outer barrel with your inner barrel. So basically you want to push it out just a little bit. You'll notice it'll catch on the side. What you want to do is you want to sort of ply it as you push it up and your barrel will come out. So we'll assemble the barrel. There's two little screws just there, there and there. What you want to do is you take those two little screws out. And off you go. <laughs> this little rubber piece is your bucking. Um, just beware guys, if you are going to change your barrel, you pretty much have to mimic what's going on on this barrel as it keeps it all seated and housed nicely. Um, which I'll do another video on that shortly. You can see where it sort of sits in the track. It sits in this little channel here. So we'll start assembling again guys. Show you guys how to put this thing back together again. Basically you want to put, it all sits sort of where it wants to sit. Um, these things are they're very, very simple. There's not a whole lot to these pistols. Um, there is a few upgrades we can do to push these things up to about 400 FPS, which I'll go into further on another video. My only concern is, being such a short barrel, pushing these things up to 400 FPS are going to be... With the hop-up right now, you're getting about 38 metres. Um, nice and accurate. Nice straight shots, and I sort of plan to keep it that way. Um, with these here, you won't need to apply it, just sort of push it up and push at the same time so your barrel goes back in. Um, with your assembly, so let's get her assembled. So here's your slide here, basically take this little piece here, that will go in there. So from the inside, what you do is... that back in it just slides in like so make sure it is sitting sort of nice and flush um, and then with your little spring here you should can make sure your little spring is in like so so it sits in its own little housing guys you'll see exactly what I mean um, when you pull these things apart this little piece here be full auto. So I like to slot the spring side with the spring in first. Get it sitting nice and snug. So you click it down into place and get your full auto switch. It just sort of sits in and then sort of push it back and forth a bit and you'll notice it pushes your full auto left and right. And then you'll see a little little bump there it goes down into that little square. Okay, it's, hard to, it's hard to see, but it goes down into there. So, little square. Down into there. Make sure it all pushes in nice and snug so it's all flush. Take your screw, screw it back down. Um, 
basically fiber optic once again sits in its sits in its own little channel. Push it in snug, take your little screw, screw it in, like so, take your outer barrel, slide it through, slide it back into your no nozzle. Lines up like so. Push it down and in, make sure it's sitting on its little track. And in there you'll see sort of where that wants to sit. Take your lower, line up your slide, if your front end sticks out, just take it back off, make sure it all sort of lines up again, make sure it all comes to the front, push your pin back through, make sure it sounds nice and it wraps nice and smooth and that is how you assemble put it back together and leave it up now let's go to the magazine because there's a lot of people sort of asking about the magazine so to change a bulb uh, if you've come into Asriel's Armoury I would have shown you this personally um, I've shown everyone that's come in and bought one bar the opening days we didn't have enough the line was two hours long as it was so it would have been a lot longer um, but basically slide it back now keep your finger on the purge valve, so you want to purge it, so I like to put my pinky there, like so. Take your allen key, turn it off, so back it out, you see it come out, and then your CO2. So your CO2 um, basically goes in thumb first, neck up. And these here, these little transparent two O rings, they're very, very easy to pinch. Keep them very lubed up. So I like to put a little bit of lube on there. You can put a little double lube on your bulb as well if you like. Don't, I'm not pushing in, so I'm not pushing in at all. I'm just twisting. Let the let it's brass, it strips super, super easy. Let it find its own channel. Now it's found its own channel. It should be nice and smooth to turn in. If it's not just back out, you feel it tighten up. Then twist through just a little bit past the tighten until it clears the cap. So see how it's not lined up properly? So basically, with fresh air two in, I'll take it and just, just a little turn. Put the cap back on. It should line up like so. You should see all the little crevices line up and um, away you go. The The only real issue you can probably come across is the valve. It can be a bit leaky. I'll leave that for another video. I'll pull the valve out and um, show you guys exactly how to solve a leak from the valve. So that's it guys um, for the pistol. Um, if you like this video, if it helped you out, give it a thumbs up hit subscribe um, I will be bringing out more videos on these pistols um, and giving you guys a rundown basically of you know changing the mag valve um, chrono video everything else this is just a maintenance video to help people that are struggling to maintain their pistol so if you do everything that I've shown here guys your pistol will run for a long time um, and it'll run nice and smooth so like the video again guys give a like thumbs up leave in the comments down below what video you want to see next until next time guys cheers